Welcome back everyone to episode 5 of uh, Factory Town Let's Play um, and we are going to get started I think with optimising this forester um, and removing the need for these workers just so we can start sharing out the wood between the two required lumber mills over here. A um, couple of reasons for doing it, basically it frees up the workers um, but also because they're going to need to get further and further away from uh, all this um, it's going to gradually take them longer and longer to actually do anything with that um, also we don't want to just be putting forests down all over the place because of the yellow coin cost while we've got a pretty good setup over here at the moment uh, which is only going to get better when we get some more conveyor belts in which we've got 25 so I'm nearly at it um, we're also going to be using some over here once we uh, get the uh, get the barn set up. Um, so let's go ahead and just drop a pause, and we're going to just put ourselves a barn down here. So this barn is just going to act as a buffer, taking the logs in uh, and storing them. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put our conveyor along the length here. Um, yeah, just carry it on along here. We are going to need just a little bit more, but we can get started so grab her there and just a splitter here and this will start putting every other piece into there which is fine for now and the others will carry on along once we've got the conveyor we can finish this off but it's not a problem if it starts backing up a little bit um, and what we're going to want to do is increase the number of works just to increase the speed here so each one's currently 150% speed which is great and one more conveyor hopefully it will come relatively soon what are you trying to do Oh, you're trying to put stone in. Okay, yeah, we still haven't automated the stone part. It is just to hang up on the um, requisite of the planks. There we go, there's our last one. So that's now going to drastically increase the speed there. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And can get rid of all of that. So that's now ticking along. This is going at a much faster rate than it was previously. And we could improve the speed of it still by improving the transport speed of the logs to the barn, but we are building a buffer as it currently sits, so that's perfectly fine by me. We'll come back and optimize this a bit more a little bit later. So what were we looking at at the end of last time? If I remember rightly we were looking at getting our red coins improved. Yes. So we want to get into making, I think the um, planks first. Reinforced planks are going to be the main one. And we're going to want to keep a certain amount of those for our own construction. So that might be what we do first. And then we'll look at getting a setup 
Actually, we can just use a pusher setup, I think. So, okay. We're going to want ourselves... Press a gun. Workshop. Um, this is going to go here. Yeah. Your whole job is going to be making reinforced planks. So the we then put a barn down here. This is going to store our reinforced planks. It's also going to store regular planks because that's going to be our kind of buffer zone for them. Um, do we want anything else in here? I don't know that we want anything else in here at the moment. So we'll just pop those as buffers just so they don't fill up. So that is going to be our grabber for planks. Yeah, that works. And what we're going to do we're going to have a pusher here that will always force let's send that to reinforce planks just in case we end up using this workshop for other things so this will now always bring the reinforced planks out and put it into the barn first and foremost uh, now we need to tell you to take the planks over to there for the moment. We'll deal with hooking it up into a better location um, in a moment. First things first is just get things started. Uh, because we're a little bit short on conveyors, I want you to take... Wrong option. Take no. Come, come back here. What are you? Oh yeah. So you're supp that supply. So just I was right the first time. Okay. What are you doing? Come here. And then take from there very odd pathfinding but whatever okay let's just for the moment put those in there okay so that's starting to produce our reinforced planks And we're now creating these much faster, thanks to the increase in the lumber mill. It's still the slower part of it, so do we want to... Oh, we've run out of population. Okay, need to drop some more houses down. there put some more of our houses down yeah like so Now, our, how 
are we doing with uh, food parts? So the veg, just a little bit behind. Gourmet foods doesn't have the option. Oh yeah, of course. We need to level more of our houses up to level four to actually benefit from gourmet foods. Yellow coin increase. Let's do that now. Gonna see a massive amount of uh, more more population that we can now utilize and a huge boost in coins and happiness all right so gourmet foods you are supplying 14 houses oh yeah these ones are only threes so Four, 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 and four. Right, so you should now have 19 houses. Let's just put the other one in there. Right. So, how well are you keeping up with it? Perfectly. How well are you keeping up with it? Grains and vegetables could be a little bit better. But we knew that and you're not quite keeping up on the shirt so we'll need to improve how well we're doing that but that's not a problem when we get our machinery that's going to be the easy way of doing it um, let's remove the need for you and just put conveyor belts right okay so this is now stacking up okay that's fine we can drop a worker out of there probably still keep up it's all about finding that balance So here we want to bring our conveyor belt down and into that barn. So that now brings our reinforced planks, puts it into the barn first of all. If it can't put it into the barn, so once that's at its uh, 50, which isn't going to be quite enough for absolutely everything, but it's good um, good start we can upgrade the barn itself to go up to further levels um, right we need to sub you out for a wagon for now make that area a little bit better because when if he crosses at exactly the same time they uh, get a little bit confused but why are you not using the path whatever are you happy about using that now yes okay all right that's odd very odd. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking, do I want to raise that cotton up and I can have that going in a straight line more behind there? Maybe. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, let's do that. So take that from there. this 
a little bit smoother in the in the doings. Also need to be an archway, so it is the right height. That's one thing I um, realised when I was listening back to a previous episode. The um, archways do actually serve a slightly different purpose because they're of a height that. Um, allows things to pass underneath where the uh, scaffold blocks do not necessarily do so. Um, right, so just logistics, just one way, we're just going to want to pop that there and that there. It's not necessary, but um, just serves to make life a little bit, a little bit easier. Especially if we put other wagons or other um, transport devices on the route. Another question, do we want to raise this up? Or are we happy with that going where it is? I think we're happy with that going where it is for now. We'll probably want to raise it up at another point. But for now that will be fine. Okay. Um, Second part, I think we want to put a forester down over here for our gathering of wood, which will free up an awful lot of these workers, and we can put it into this lumber mill, and we can have this lumber mill supply that and get rid of this entirely. Mm, we want to Start bringing certain goods in. Automatically. So that barn will supply our general store with the reinforced planks. Reinforced planks getting used and massively increasing the happiness. Hurrah! Is eating our nails and iron and that's not necessarily keeping up. Hmm. We'll cross that bridge a little bit later, I think. Um, right. Forester. Now, do we want Yeah, so we're going to want to utilize the stuff that we've already got. Now 29, that's probably enough. So, pop that like so, just in case we need to move things underneath at a later point. You can start bringing that down. And then we do the 
same. Over here with that being a grabber. Do we want a split? Yeah, we we'll just put a splitter here. Just get rid of this. Now it will alternate into there. This will eventually backlog, but we'll still let the other parts come down here, and this will then just stack up. And that's fine, I think. Now, we did want to bring the planks out over here, potentially. Just debating what the best way of doing that is. Let's leave that until those trees are gone. It won't take very long. But once they're done, we can get rid of all of that, and then we can work out how we bring the planks over. Maybe we put this so it runs down this side instead. Yeah, I think we like that better. Do, 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 do. Slightly more conveyors it's going to take, but... There is method. Not sure there's much method to the madness, admittedly, but there is some. So let's pop you here. Pop you there. So slightly more conveyors required. will uh, keep this free so that we can bring the planks off from here. Do you want to move the lumber mill back? Because we can move the lumber mill back to here. And that will mean that we have to use... Mm, I suppose it's the same amount of conveyors whether we're using them this way or coming off. Hmm. Let's move it back. <laughs> so changeable. Uh, so have you make planks? Get rid of you. Move the split of that far along. these in here and now put the grabber there we don't need those planks th those paths there okay so that's now taking the planks into the base planks will fill up but um, I still will be using them for Bring the stuff over here. Very nearly done. Okay, so let's get rid of those trees. Hmm. Might actually want to bring this back just a little bit further because that way we can take things off straight and I don't have to uh, mess about with that so let's do that it's all about making this look pretty 
important part here. I say, and as um, the secondary part to it is unfortunately making it organised. And anyone who has seen my Minecraft videos know that I am not wholly organised when it comes to um, things like wiring and tubes and oh, bug it. Hopefully those won't get stuck. They, do. they get stuck, of course they do. Right, I'll have to deal with that in a second. Let's put the splits back there. Get rid of those and put those back down. Alrighty, so that's now that part sorted. Let's bring this over. What do we want to prioritise? I think we want to prioritise the base and building the backlog here. So what we want to do is just rotate that one like that, but then put our pusher here. So that should now push straight on if it can. When this fills up and this part here fills up, the rest will then go this way. Perfect. Right, you're now, uh, you, you're going all the way down there. Let's get you away. We do not want. Get rid of all of this. No longer need that wagon. I'm no longer need that. Okay. And the next houses will go there, 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 with some our next market type going there. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Heading somewhere indeed. Okay, uh, oh yeah, we can also get rid of all of this one way nonsense and these paths which we don't need anymore. Just tidy this place up. Excellent. And that is suddenly 30 minutes, which is quite ridiculous for a recording of this type. So I'm going to leave that here and we'll come back in a moment for me uh, next week for you to crack on with the next stage of it all so join me next week to see some further development thank you very much and see you there